Those are powerful messages. People have come to me and said, this is the best thing that this business has ever done. I joined the business about two years ago. One of the things that stuck out for me was the culture, the difference in the culture from where I'd come. So in terms of ensuring that the business was profitable, sustainably profitable, focus on ownership and accountability, uh, empowerment of people, I saw that as areas for, for improvement and something that could add a lot of value to uh, our business. When we think about the culture for, for ISSA, what's aspirational for us is to have a high performance and a high engagement culture. So finding Steph and the UGR process was actually quite interesting. I hadn't come across UGRs previously and it might, might be interesting, maybe there's something that we can take out uh, from that and, and use going forward and you know, just help people uh, understand something different and uh, may, may be useful in the work or personal lives. We weren't really looking for somebody to lead a program at the, at the time. And then Steph got onto stage and he did his thing as he normally does. And he left and during the break, Celeste and I said, hey, we've got to engage this guy. We've got to talk to him because we've been, we've been talking about things like ownership and accountability and shifting the culture in the business. But we didn't have in our minds at the time what we wanted to do or how we wanted to do it. And we thought this was a fantastic vehicle. And, and, and also seeing how the people that were there at the Leadership Summit, how they responded to it, was amazing. What I have really valued about the UGR journey is that it has given me a framework to monitor and make sense of my observations in the workplace. And so, so we have become deliberately and consciously aware of our behaviors and actions and how they influence the outcomes that we achieve, both positively and negatively. The way the program is structured and set up in terms of a focus on the individual, on the leadership as a collective, but also systemically, um, it allows for you to very quickly integrate it into your business. And by integrating it, it's something you ensure that it continues. So I found that really helpful, um, is that it's not, this is how we do business and the UGRs are running alongside, but rather it's so integrated into, into everything we're trying, we're trying to do. What we've started to, to notice and, and experience in the business since starting the, the UGR journey is really that there's a common language that we as leaders use. And in most cases, it's used to hold each other accountable. Um, and in having a common language, it provides a sense of safety for people to challenge, even up the, the leadership structure. And, and, and that for me, I think, has been so empowering for people. So what I found with the UGRs, um, the implementation of the UGRs in this organization, is um, I'm very grateful for what it has done for our leaders. I found that our leaders have been more intentional in their approach. There was a more positive style of leadership and it's being felt on the floor and it actually shows in the results. Um, the team has now changed their culture to, we're now a culture of winners. We target driven, we always want to smash targets. With the framework that we've built um, around the way we function, um, that around here we are on one team there's been more intention in the way the whole team performs into pulling together towards um, the same direction. Through the UGR process, we are seeing a lot of engagement between managers and their employees, and uh, employee voices are being heard. So it just creates a very good culture of alignment, a very good culture of improving our production performance on site. I've had directly people say to me, hey, look, I was thinking of actually resigning this business but with the work that's going on around the UGRs and and the value that it uh, adds to me as an individual but also how it enables my my work that 
I've changed my mind. Being um, in this journey has also transformed my life as a mom very well. Um, uh, there is this concept that we are very busy, there is no time. But if you truly commit yourself to everything that you need to do, show up. I've started reading my daughter uh, bedtime stories, which is something that I've been done in the past few years. To this day, what drives me for you, Jazz, is that statement that Steph says, do you want Isa to be a great place to work for?